and welcome back. My name is GGFizz. How's everyone doing today? Today we're going to look at on how to properly place down elevator tracks. Now a lot of people have been asking this for a long time and I'm finally going to show you guys how I do it. Now there's all, always different other ways but I'm going to show you exactly how I do it in a very, very simple, quick, easy way very short video for you guys so yeah sit back relax and enjoy and if you have any questions feel free always comment down below and i'll try and answer them for you but yeah let's get started shall we all right so like i said in the tutorial the intro this is going to be a very simple easy way on showing you guys how to make an elevator snap to exactly where you want but not snapping all right so here's the trick so we're going to show you right here, and I'm going to redo this section right here, because this is the greatest example, because this is like one of the latest builds that we did on my um, single player. So this is probably the best example that we can do. So here we have is that I want to make an elevator from here to there. What do I, what's the simplest way to do this? Well, for one, if you take an elevator shaft, sometimes you have something like this that happens. You have a bunch of different snap points on trying to do ceilings and all this other stuff. You don't want any of these. You don't want any snap points. You don't want to be like this. You're trying to place a pillar down, trying to place a pillar in any of these different snap points. You just don't want that. You don't want to do that with an elevator as well. And the reason why is when you're trying to snap, if you're trying to snap an elevator, okay, it's always going to be backwards. Always. 100% it's always going to be backwards or not where you want it to be. All right. So the trick is it's very simple. Very simple. Hold your camera up a little bit, like so, right? Hold it up so that you're not getting a single snap point with your elevator shaft, okay? And what you want to do is just move it around a little bit, just like this. Just move it a little bit around. Make sure you're not getting any snap points, okay? You want to make sure you find the right directional camera where you're not going to get a single snap point if you're going to move the little um, elevator track around, okay? And I already knew this, but I want to snap my elevator shaft so that way it's completely flat and perpendicular with this so that way if i wanted to uh put a wall or something after it would not cause interference with anything okay so how do you do this well for one an elevator shaft will always stick out a little bit after you place it so i'm gonna place it right here let me just speed this up a little bit go okay so now what i want to do is i want to take the elevator shaft I'm gonna smush it to the back wall, okay? I wanna smush it to the back wall for starters because I wanna line it up where I wanna be, as well as making it flat. Stone wall is probably one of the best ways next to metal. Uh, pro probably metal actually is probably better. Uh, metal walls is probably the easiest and best way to see which way is uh, straight and perm like flat. And what I wanna do is I wanna just have it nice, come out just a little bit so that way I can see which side are intersecting. Like that so for instance i'm gonna move this over a little bit more like that and like so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bring it forward and i'm gonna go back and forth now if you can see now on the bottom of the elevator shaft i can go forward a little bit that's over the greenhouse um ceilings or i can go back where it's still on top of the um on still on top of the tech ceilings and what i want to do is i want to make sure that these both are kind of snapping together and i want to make sure i'm perfectly in the middle so now what I'm gonna do, I have my where I have my perfect elevator track placement, and what I'm gonna do is just place it down like so. That's it. Now, what this should do is that this should snap just a little bit off to the side of the ceiling and be perfect to my elevator. And there we go. Now if I go oh, now if we come back down, it should be perfectly straight and perfectly snapped. Would you look at that? Now, this goes for any elevator. You can do big, small, medium, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's perfectly, I mean, look at that. It's literally perfectly straight, perfectly straight, and you will have not a single problem with going up and down the elevator because of this. Any questions? I hopefully I I don't know. That's that's it. That's all I gotta tell you guys. I mean, that's literally the entire video. I you guys have asked, and that's literally all I do to snap things. Uh, you just here's the word of advice. Okay, remember this. <clears throat> Three steps. One, don't snap it to anything. 
Two, get a flush wall to, to make sure you can line it up perfectly. And three, when you're placing it down, make sure you use ceilings to demonstrate of where you can place it. I suggest using tech. I suggest using um, metal. And I don't suggest using stone or wood. Well, stone's a little bit, but because it has a curved edge. Anything that has a very flat, very smooth edge is what you should use to snap your elevator shaft. Because then you'll get this perfectly straight elevator that you can use that's it that's that's the whole that's the whole video so yeah anyways ladies and gentlemen that's it if you guys have any questions feel free put them in the comments down below and and yes there is multiple different other ways that you can do this this is the way that i've been doing it ever since the elevator's been out and a lot of people have been asking me on how you do this properly um so here we go this is the way i do it i'm not going to show you any other way because this way is probably the most simplest way i can ever show you and this is my favorite way um it's it literally is it's the best way i can literally show you guys and explain on how this works but yeah so anyways that's it if you have any other questions feel free comment down below if you want to see any more tips and tricks feel free put them those in the comments down below and as always my name is ggfizz hopefully everyone enjoyed we'll see you guys on the next one